What is going on, Ben Nation? So we're going to be doing technical analysis and we're going to be doing it on the BitBoy Crypto Show going forward. We got big things happening in this ecosystem and you're going to start seeing a lot more of me and Ben talking about Bencoin going forward. So uh, with that, let's kick off. Where are we right now? So we've got a new website. Uh, we've got a new branding logo. We've got Bitcoin, Bencoin teller machines that are available for you to buy with basically a gasless transaction a, a very cool thing they're doing it on a zk roll-up which means that you're not having to pay the fees now there is a fee of course for the transaction but it is in fact very nominal and less than you would pay for ethereum gas fees at this point uh by a lot so uh, if you want to buy some go look for those machines when they roll out if you want more information go to btmmachines.com and you can look at the the process and and what's going on there uh fantastic way to create exposure then of course we have uh the bencoin wallet which is coming very very shortly by the end of this month we're going to have staking ready to go so a lot of things kind of manifesting themselves all at once here uh, and we're starting to see the the big moves the things that we've been waiting for the 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 rolling out of processes uh that will attract more people more hodlers uh, and create a an ecosystem for mass adoption mass adoption hasn't really happened yet there's a lot of money coming in it's mostly institutional so we haven't seen these these crazy pumps and we've seen market makers we've seen um uh, we've seen money start to cascade down a bit but you know, we really haven't had one of those big blow off sort of seasons right now where everybody kind of discovers their position we got two years for this right so here we are let's look at what we've got so far now if you've been sleeping under a rock, then you might have missed some of this, but we've got this week, the FOMC meets, and we will know what the decision is on rate hikes or uh, whether they will start quantitative easing. Uh, we don't think it's going to be that. We think we're going to hold steady. However, there is a possibility that interest rates could go up further because inflation has been sticking just a little bit. But um, when we look at Bencoin right now, we're actually in a pretty opportune spot. If we look at the moving average, then you can see that the moving average has pumped above the 100 MA. It's actually a very good sign and a very bullish indicator. And we have not only done that, uh, we've actually used it as support for the last. So that means that there's a breakout coming or that should lend itself to the fact that there's a breakout coming. Uh, the 20 MA is up over here. Now it's becoming a, a level of resistance, but the 50 is also crawling its way up here as well. So um, all of these things are, are, are coming into a situation in which I, I think we're gonna have a nice little rip. Now, uh, the RSI, as you can see right here, is about to cross over. It's in a lower zone because uh, it got hot here when we made this move. Uh, it's crossing over back down here. Uh, the signal line, we're about to pass over that. That's another bullish indicator of a momentum swing towards the upside. Now, AutoFib extension really loves Bencoin right now. Uh, if you look at it, it's telling you that Ben is probably primed for a gigantic move up to four zeros. 26 to 48. Now, if you've been following AutoFib extension for any length of time, you'll know that, you know, Bitcoin usually completes these moves. Hopefully, with a little momentum, Bencoin completes its move, which is about a 4x away from where we are right now. Now, that does not put us even at 100 million market cap. So I think uh, it's definite that this is going to happen. Now, it's just a question of when. Uh, but again, when we look at this, we see that uh, Autofib extension likes Bencoin. Also, high IQ indicator. I am a partner. If you're if you're looking for one, down in the description below, uh, you can sign up and join today. But um, there is a buy signal on the daily on Bencoin. That's usually a signifier of a big move. As you can see right here, there hasn't been a buy signal on Ben in a while. And now you've got a buy signal on high IQ. So um, high IQ down in the description below. Uh, it's telling you that right now is the time to buy. Uh, and then Super Guppy, which is a, uh, it, it's an indicator. It uses technical levels. Uh, you can see that it's flipping to the green right now. Basically, when you get this blue move right here, that usually tells you that that's your, your most bearish sort of move. Well, when it clears out and you get through with that move, that tends to mean that you've got an upside momentum starting to happen. And the reason that you can see that is this red right here. 
that shows how bad it is, right? When it's moving down like this, you can see how the lines are just continuing to move down. But the lines right here are starting to close. When they start to see uh, the red right here not matching the body and it's getting a little bit smaller, it usually means that there's a flipping coming. Uh, and when that flip happens, then you're going to see a lot of green happening right here and you're going to see a lot of upside momentum happening right here. Now, again, Super Guppy uh, showing that we're about to rip. High IQ showing that we're probably about to rip. Auto Fib showing that we're about to rip. Um, so then there's the question. Are we about to rip? I get a sense here that we're about to have a takeoff. When will it happen? I don't exactly know. I assume it's going to probably be in correlation with uh, the release of a wallet or something. There's going to be some kind of catalyst that will bring it really home. But um, it's coming and not much you can do about it other than to uh, make sure that you hold in a bag. And I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, I can't tell you what to do, but I can tell you that I doubled the amount that I'm holding in the last 24 hours because when it signal hit that became a buy that, that became a real buy signal for me so i'm um, curious to th uh to find, find out what you think uh so put a comment in the description down below let me know what it is that you're doing it's not financial advice but i'm always right